You know what it is, VIP Saturday, Superstar J. It's your homie, Gray Rizzy. Yes, man, we got the big homie in the room, man. I've been calling him, nagging him all the time, but he's the only <laughs> motherfucking big homie that I could hit at 9 o'clock, and he's right back. Yo, what up? No <laughs> doubt. Nah, <laughs> man, the you, know, you got to appreciate the love, and you got to keep the... You got to keep the rapport. You know what I mean? A lot of times, uh, artists get out of, they think they bigger than the culture or bigger than, you know what I mean? This is a definitely a business where teamwork makes the dream work. So, you know, when DJs call or hit you, you got to hit back because when you need them to play your music, you want it to be the same thing. You know what I mean? So I got enough years in the game. I understand the business. I understand the respect level. And I just try to keep it like that with those that keep it like that with me. Well, look, man, I want to go ahead and make sure we give the proper respect. <laughs> yeah. You already heard that so raspy coming across <laughs> them fucking airwaves. You know what I'm saying? Top five dead or alive. This is one of Jay's favorite art artists, one of mine. Jay, go ahead and introduce this man the properly. big homie, Jay the Kiss. What's up? We in the building. What's up, baby? What's going on, man? Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. I'm long time coming. Long. I'm overdue. You've been trying to get me here for a while, oh, but man. I just wanted to make, make look, it a special moment make it eventful when I came and touched down and I, now it's I, I eventful I need the people to understand I think Jay went ahead first of all you go through the label to go to people then you go to the managers and then you know you gotta hit the streets we calling cousins friends yeah. ex-girlfriends Jay got my number so I, we all, <laughs> I already told him when it was time for me to come I was gonna come you know what I mean yeah, I'm about just... to send a dude on the beach on vacation like yo <laughs> tap him on the shoulder all right? let him know we waiting for him so you know we had to do the Jay to kiss hour you know what I mean we gonna do like Damn near two hours because we could play your records for like from eight to twelve. That's ill as shit ever. That's <laughs> ill. That's ill. That's a that's what, that's what love you, though. What do you think about that? Like, do you ever sit, stand back for a second and say like, damn? Like I, you were just talking about the culture. Culture. I did that, man. Like this is fucking crazy. Ninety three. I went yeah. ahead and gave so much to this culture. You ever stand back and say, "Oh shit, I mean, wow." You know, I, sometimes I do, but I really don't get caught up in that because I got a lot more to give to the culture. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And you know, the fans, the time span and the attention span is so short now. You gotta, you can't even dwell on that. You, they want more, so. That's what it's about, giving them more, and that's what that's what we're here to do, baby. It seemed like you had a, a campaign, like it came out of nowhere with all the freestyles, you know what I mean? The, the Friday freestyles with Envy, shout to Envy. And I was like, damn, Jada's going crazy on all these yeah. records. I was like, is this because of, uh, you know, when Fab did it, then I was like, all right, now I see Jada getting in the ring. Well, what did, Was you, uh, like, really, like, putting this together, like, I'm, I'm going to do this? Big shout out streets. to Fab, because he, 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 he said it. You know, he set it up with the midnight joints. So I just said, I want to ball Friday without clashing with him. And then, you know, Envy gave me that outlet to do the morning massacre joints. But, um, yeah, it was all a strategic setup to do the Friday joints, let it lead up to a mixtape, start a little buzz, and then get the album coming out 1120. November 20th, you know what I mean? So you could enjoy your Thanksgiving, your Black Friday yes. shopping, <laughs> your soundtrack. Christmas holidays, All-Star Weekend, just let it roll all the way to the summertime. I'm glad baby. you said that for Black Friday because you know you got to get focused for them fucking lines. You got to go out there no and fight doubt. for them Now gifts. you got something in your headphones that, that not make you want to hurt nobody you know when, what they, I'm when they trying to cut you online. <laughs> Yeah, so on this album, right? Now, why did you name it the top five? You know what I'm saying? That are alive. Did you say, yo, you was around, around people like, yo, you know what? I'm, I'm going to name this this right here. Um, A lot of different reasons. Like, besides, I don't really get caught up with the whole thing with the top five because I'm, I'm content with who I am and where I'm at in my career. I was blessed to work with Big. You know what I mean? He, he, he had told me how much he appreciated my craft. As well as Hove, Nas, Ghost and Ray, Eminem, all of the top, whoever's the top dudes in rap, I got a mutual respect with them and they respect my craft and LOX and what we brought to the game. So if I was to die today, I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Besides having a couple dollars in the couple, right, true. you know, a couple houses, cars, roads, Talk your shit. whatever yeah. that bullshit <laughs> is about. But, um, 
Yeah, so Nah, I just named it that Cause I One thing I wanted I ain't naming no more of my albums Kiss, nothing You know, I kissed the game goodbye The kiss of death right. The yeah. last kiss I wanted to get off the kiss titles So I said I'm gonna name it top five And then I was gonna change it From that And I tweeted it out And Graham did Yo, you think I should change it? And the fans was like Hell no, leave it So I just left. So you've been one of the people that really you you went and you embrace talking to your fans over social media, and I think a lot of times some people don't always from if they've been in the game as long as you have, they don't always embrace that. You have though. You talk to the people freely. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, the fans make them. The fans make you. You know uh -huh. what I mean? This is a business where you you actually eat off. Of people liking what you do and willing to come pay for your product and pay to see you perform. Yeah. So you got to interact with them. When you just oust them out, you really not being fair to, to yourself. Right. So I, I can't really look at every single comment, but I go through and I, I respect people's opinion because they, you know, they make me. So I've, if I can critique it a little or do something that I see a common comment, I try it. I won't compromise all the way who I am, but I definitely listen to the fans. They, the, they, you know, that's my call. That's audience. the lifeblood right made there. Me. Yeah, you know what I mean. I can't count them out. I, I need them. And we was talking about um, we was talking to French, and and it seems like when when you 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 can cross the border. Mm -hmm. Like it's a lot of New York artists that can't cross the border. Like to get love in North Carolina, get love in LA. It's only a chosen few yeah. that can go up across that border. Now, is that because of so many so many people have respect for? I think the early, early. I did. I was I was in the A. I used to get money in the A a few years, a couple years back. So I was on. All the little John albums, mm -hmm. yeah, Eight yeah. Ball, MJ. I was before it really all the way popped. I was already moving around down there, so I got a lot of love down there. You know what I mean? As well as in LA. So now when it's when it's peaking, uh -oh. I'm just like a regular. You know, I got love already. It oh. ain't like I'm trying to fit in or I'm trying oh. to do something. Oh, hold on, here hold on, there. hold on, hold on. You know what I mean? The complete Look masterpiece. Look at this right here. Oh, <laughs> right shit. here. You know what I mean? Hall and of the Fame nigga status. Jay, do you see the wave spinning yeah, up on this bitch? Hall of Fame status, man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shit right here. VIP Saturdays. Call us up. 888-742-2335. This sometimes you just looking. Because that, that statue yeah, looks exactly like you. I haven't like really you. spent the night with it yet. And woke up in <laughs> Yo, wee on. hours of the night and oh, looked at it looking at me. So I, it, it ain't too scary right now. Now, you're a sports fan. I love sports. You watch sports. sports. Yeah. You know a lot of times in the NFL, this shit don't look nice. Nowhere as close Next as they to, yeah. what they, they got to like. They got to highlight out on my man Matt who did that for me. Maybe we can start getting them. We to do got some, some business to talk about. Yeah, yeah. ESPN, NFL, Roger Goodell. Somebody <laughs> holler at me, baby. <laughs> I, I can see that on the show. Can we get into a record, man? Can we get into the Jason record? Because when I heard that, I was like, yeah, hit right there. No doubt. I mean, yeah. You know, I teamed up with my brother, my little brother Swiss, and you know when we make music is is always a certain chemistry. We came in the game together, so that that, sh that reflects in the music. You know what I mean? We're able to critique each other and get it to exactly how we want it whenever we do something. So, you know what I mean? That's how Jason came. It's about to be Halloween. You know, Jason is my real name. It's just a lot of elements to make everything <laughs> work, you know? Yeah, man. We're going to get into <laughs> that one, man. Jason, let's get it. VIP. You know what it is, VIP Saturdays. and still got the big homie in the building. He brought his statue with him, man, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the Hall of Fame bus with us, man. You know, it, that's traveling around with us. It's just a symbol, a symbolization of the top five. Of greatness. You know, of greatness, actually. And you yeah. know, you know, you gotta have, you know, I definitely have to have, have the homies motherfucking watch that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, that's moving around. <laughs> I don't even do security, but the bus got to have his own security. The bus so bus definitely got to yeah, have his own security. That's going to have his own security. Because <laughs> <they, laughs> if niggas will go ahead and rip up chair, they'll take a chair out of Yankee Stadium. You know they taking yeah, this they're shit trying to steal that, definitely. It's like, where the yeah. fuck is my statue at? Word up. <laughs> this shit is somewhere in Ohio right 
now in a fucking glass case. <laughs> Word the bother, man. So what, what, after the album, would you put that like you know on 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 to you know what I mean like an auction or something, or are you just gonna keep it? You know what I'm saying for like a good cause. Or I like- wanted to live somewhere in one of these music. I my dream is to put it in the Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, where next That's to Walter fact. Payton or one of them. You know what I mean? Right. But we gonna work on that and see if we can make that happen. If not, we put it in a, some museum. Fuck around, rock and roll hall of fame. They be like, yeah. yo, look, we need that, man. We need it. Please. They definitely somebody gonna call for it. We need that. I might got to get a duplicate made for my mom. She hit me all day saying, oh, she I got to bring it that. to the crib. Yeah, she's seeing it on the gram and people calling. The, so she want to see it. I got to bring it by mom and love's house. Now, talking about that, man, you did something crazy special. And probably I haven't I haven't seen it before. And I want to give all, all praises due to it. And you're going to say the person who did it. You went ahead and opened up the NBA season at Barclays for the Nets. Yeah. You said the starting five. This is all over the place. We've seen it. All over the gram, all over Twitter. How the fuck did that happen? And and please give 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 the credit to the person because everybody is like, yo, that was Def how Jam. did Jada pull this off? The Def Jam staff, the Def Jam family made that happen. You know what I mean? Everybody over there, the whole team, Kiafa, my dudes over here, just the whole Def Jam, Jeff Jam collectively made that happen. A good, they thought that would be a good way to launch the campaign. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah. It was a perfect it was a perfect way to do it. The turnout was great. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately the Nets lost. Um but yeah. but everything else <laughs> everything else Damn. worked out fine. So, you know, big up to Def Jam for doing what they do, putting up with my bullshit. And, you know, we able to make put all that to the side and, and make things work and, and make them successful. Now nice. you're into sports now. What, what who's your top five in basketball? You know what I mean? The, the top Not five of all time, or just right now? Right you know, now, that's a funny. Uh, right Instagram, now, you know the top make five. It easy. Yeah, we right make now, it easy. I say my top five is Melo, Durant, LeBron, Steph Curry. What you say? Westbrook? James Harden. <laughs> oh shit! Oh Westbrook! Oh Westbrook! Westbrook. I, I I take Westbrook. So that's five eight five B right yeah. there. Uh, or you can put Kobe in it. Uh, you know what I mean? You I might take Kobe with, yeah. with the ranks. Yeah, definitely. And you we said Kobe in the ranks. What do you mean it, by that? No, with the nah, ranks. I, said, I, might oh, take, yeah, I, t- ranks. I might take Kobe in the rings. I wouldn't disrespect that man. I mean, they haven't won in a while, but I wouldn't disrespect right. that man. Here we go. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk about this album now. Who's on the album? We've seen the future now. The future record came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, I like to do albums that. I mean, you, come I like on, to man. do songs that you really don't expect. I'm seeing know? motherfuckers pull their car over, just like to they, make it, just to, cause everybody, and that future record is not new. Like I didn't just call him as soon as he came out with the song, the album with Drake, or once he got on fire, I reached out to him. I already had that in the. That's staff. why it sounds different than the other future records, but yeah, I got a couple of different people on there. Jeezy, of course, I got my brother Styles P, Sheik Luch on there, um, Wiz. Wow, mm-hmm. um, you reached out to a couple I of got people. Got Esco on there. You know, I had to represent for Queens. I got Nas on there. I, I keep. I keep one in the chamber Snigga with Nigga James smiling from ear to ear, oh, man. Yeah. He's got the Christmas smile all right now. got some good music on there for you, baby. You're going to love it. November 20th, 1120. <laughs> top five, baby. So you got Nas, Future, Wiz. Now, what's the Wiz record about? <laughs> we talk about smoking here. Definitely. You know that. Can it's you only outsmoke right. Wiz? Because Wiz came in here and said, I mean, Wiz, smoke mega shit. Out smoke Wiz smoke white papers, so... You is able to sh- you able to smoke a lot of more joints than than Dutch masters. You know what I mean? You can s- <laughs> I can still be on the same fat Dutch while he already blew three white joints, airplane, paper planes, whatever you call them. So <laughs> I can't really say that. One day we gonna have a smoke out where he got to smoke Dutchies and I got to smoke white papers, and then we we'll, we we'll see who taps out first like that. But I I can't just give him the crown. Not smoking like that. a bunch of little joints Yeah, yeah. yeah Cause man. Currency said it too He's like No one could out smoke me Currency's a sm- They both heavy smokers <laughs> I, I definitely salute them But I, I, I used to smoke with big man, Mayonnaise jars Branson I like You know what I mean So you know Damn, Even though son. it's different No dabbing now And yeah. 
the Synthetics bombs and, and all shit. of that is the straight THC though, straight to the brain. So right. it's a different. You're dealing with a different high now. What's the best state that you got weed? That you that it's the best weed at? Definitely Cali, Colorado. Somebody said Denver to me. Denver, Colorado. Colorado. Denver, yeah, yeah, Colorado said- is up right now. Cali, um, Portland, Oregon, Portland, the Bay, San Fran, Oakland. They are, they stay with it over there. <laughs> a couple. Yeah. <laughs> Now, you've been on a, a couple of all-star features. I, I always wanted to ask you, what was the best record when you was with, with you know, when you had the Reservoir Dogs, you know what I'm saying, um, with the one with uh, X, what was the best one that you said that everybody went in? Nori's one was cool. Band from TV. Yeah. Um, I like Band from TV. I like, I like Reservoir Dogs, too. I don't know. All of them, all of them was cool. Well, what was the best one? T- I say the best one was Blackout because that's I got the hip hop quotable for that one. Yeah, you man. You know what I mean? And that was some heavy bars on there from whole <laughs> yeah. Nas, Styles, Luch. You know what I mean? So I feel good about that when they they recognize my my sixteen with all of them heavy hitters on there. Now you're talking about a real competitive time. Just in that song alone, heavy fucking weights, man. You see that? You see that? Heavy it's different. It's, it's different now. It's, it it's, is. It's fun. What was that slogan that Punch or one of them said? Hip hop used to be more serious. It used to. Now, you remember that? Now is you remember that I said I was going to say for the rest of my interviews? The fuck. You remember that? You he don't even remember it. You though. think That's it's a little crazy. bit lighter now? I say it's le- it's a little bit lighter. It's still competitive, but it's not the the the, the heavy sweats you break out in having to do a song with Hov and Big and right. It, it ain't really that. It ain't that much. You ain't got to uh-huh. sweat that much now. The right. mixtape era. There's still too. some tough dudes out there. I don't, who don't you, get me wrong. Who I'm are you fucking still, with right now? Like music wise. I, well, of course we know future. I but, love you know, spinach, and, and Wiz you know, and stuff. I love all music. The, when you're an artist, you gotta open up your mind and enjoy enjoy music. Today As I was a just whole. talking. Some some I go sometimes a week or two without hearing no hip hop. Mm-hmm. Just to, to flush your mind. mind. Yeah, flush my mind out and and, and reset. You know, hit the reset button. But out of the new dudes, I love all of the spitters. Um, Kendrick, J. Cole, the Slaughterhouse dudes, um, mm-hmm. Drake, Meek. It's a lot. It's, an, it's a lot of. It's a lot of them. And one thing about you, you embrace the young artists. You know Definitely. what I mean? And, you know, we gotta go to my man Nino, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely and it, Nino. And it feels like, you know, it feels like every artist that's on there come up, that's about to I do to a song with them. That's part <laughs> of my that's part of my story that I want to, you know what I mean? Cuz everybody a jump on you after you sign the deal or you you pop all the way. I wanted to be known that I I fuck with them before they get that big break. That I recognize them early in the struggle and grind and let them and lend them my services before they actually get on billboard or you know what i mean before mm-hmm. everybody jump on the bandwagon i let them know that i was that same real nigga before all of that right so recognize that and use that for your own personal intake because a lot of people that's going to come your way after you pop is not genuine it's phony mm-hmm. so you know what i mean that's just a part of the industry that you got to learn keep your circle tight and move right and you be all right. Do you happen to give them any like any other advice? Like, say for instance, a lot of these cats because they're young, they're looking at you. You're up there in those rafters. Mm-hmm. You you're actually making we like Jay said. We was talking to French the other day. You are making a difference in their career. Do you ever sit outside of the music? Do you ever sit them down and, and just rap with them, give them some other jewels? I mean, some of them that want to be, some of them that that's with that. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know, a lot of a lot of dudes they, they moving around. They want to get the Griffin. Or, Starless, you know, they don't want to sit down and really. They want to hear superstar J play in city Yeah, they don't want to soak up. You know what I mean? And I and I ain't mad at that either. But mm. I was a dude that always hung around the older dudes. You know what I mean? Before rapping any of that, just on the block hustling. Right. I would. I want to learn and get 
and see how they did it and try to do what they did. So I ain't mind listening. So the dudes that don't, that come at me and want to sit down and kick it, we kick it. And dudes that don't, you know what I mean? There ain't no disrespect to that. They even do what you do. You Sometimes you got to learn the hard way. You know what I mean? Knowledge is priceless. Right. And good advice is priceless and it's hard to come by. So when you get it, take it for what it is and, and use it. Right. Yeah, I was come. I was gonna ask you because um, I, the whole Vince Staple and Nori thing. You know what I'm saying? What really <laughs> happened with that? I ain't, I, oh, he they was arguing over who was Vince Staple's top five, or he was saying something about the '90s he got said too 90s, much. The '90s was overrated. He that was a that. very harsh statement. With, uh, this is Vince Staples. Right? Yes, he said the '90s was overrated. I, I said that. I said this earlier. I think that was a very harsh statement. He Why? was probably a little kid in the '90s for one. True. You know what I mean? He was probably. A, a little bit older than the toddler or probably in elementary school or something and it probably bothers them that people talk about the 90s or something or, or whatever I ain't but you the 90s was the golden era I don't know what the fuck he's talking about <laughs> yeah. it was definitely a great time for music he, he definitely I mean? had to be um, he, he, he didn't know because he was talking to Nori Greasy like you know what I mean like old was ass it via, nigga was it via was yeah, it Twitter, over the, it was oh, Twitter right. fingers, but he was Twitter. really. It, it seemed like he really didn't know who Nori, Nori was. Was yeah, and Nori was really keeping it calm, like uh, the dude in the park that don't want to smack the shit out. You was yeah. like, yeah, little, you know. Yeah, nah. I mean, I never really met Omi, and Nori is my brother, and you know, that's. I really don't like to get intertwined in that because it could go, it could go all wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean, especially over Twitter and reading texts and reading tweets and reading instagrams you you take it more than it really is and then when it's disrespectful it is more than it really is so mm -hmm. you know what i mean as on his staff or somebody maybe one of y'all def jam people could resolve that oh yeah he's there with def jam right you know what I mean? i'm sorry i could try to resolve <laughs> that's that that's why all that is all sweating on the wall right i might now. need to resolve that before nori come in and have a nice couple beers or some tiger bone and they and they bump into each other oh, and they go man. all wrong but you know what i mean we ain't promoting that at We're all trying to keep it top five that are alive yeah. november 20th 1120, baby. Dead or alive. <laughs> Go kiss, kiss. Can we get into a 90s joint, man? One of your favorite 90s joints from you, man. We're going to go a whole set with We could go, go anything 90s because that was the that the 90s is was the my baby of mute. Was anybody, if you was around for the 90s, you can't be remotely serious to say it's overrated or over whatever it is. That was a, that was a part of, you know what I mean? The 90s is like. Ninth the 90s made it possible for you to pay, that. man. The air was different in yeah, the 90s. Yeah, the air was di <laughs> way different. The money was different. The videos was different. And we ain't on that long. old uncle shit right now. It was just the a different, different time. Yeah, everything, dog. All right, you know? so we going to get into a record, man, from Kiss from the 90s, man. We going to go a whole set. And Jada Kiss in the building. You know what it is, VIP. Yeah. VIP Saturdays, you know what it is, man. We was just going on that 90 set, man. Whoop, whoop. You know what it is, man. VIP Saturdays, as he said. Crazy. Jay Kiss is in the motherfucking building. Superstar J is in the building. Great Rizzy is in the building. Def Jam is in the motherfucking building. Top Yo, five is in the building. Top five is up in here for sure. The bust is in the mother. Look the at this bust. shit, man. We getting in his we gonna um, set up the own Instagram page for the bust. You know what I mean? Kiss the bus. The whole profile would be all the info about the album, the date, and Yo, all Jay. that. Yeah. You, know, you know how like, in your sweater, it got like the little triangle mark right underneath the neck? It got all The that. shit is in the motherfucking <laughs> bus, God. No, no, nah, nah, but Kiss got the, you know, he got the he got the waves, that the, the, the silk do-rag. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't the, See, the corner that, store do-rag. Uh, that's that real do -rag. They don't know about that. The corner store do you can't do that. You need the real silk. Uh, yeah, the silk You need one. the silk joint. Where you can wash that motherfucker like five times, you know what I uh, mean? Or your man still it. You like yo? What the fuck is my rag at? <laughs> no, uh, stay going through do rag thievery. <laughs> now, I, now, kiss man. I, I seen on the Instagram. And I was like, I, I was gonna text you. Was that you talking you about really? my break dancing skills? <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, what are you drinking, man? He's in the studio. I, I'm, I'm drinking water right now. No, but we know that. But <laughs> I, 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 we saw Silk the Shock, and he looks 19. You yeah. look 19 right yeah. now. I mean, thank the Lord, I got good genes, baby. But now nah, we was in the studio one day, um, mixing and mastering. So uh, you know that's a long process. 
and I'm just looking at the floor like, I wonder if I could do, if I could still backspin and windmill. So while nobody was there, I had to like, I just laid on the floor, like to get the feeling back, did a little <laughs> spin, like to see if I could remember the moves in my head. Then I bust out, I did probably like, I did like two or three of them. What was ill, I had the Dutch in my mouth. And niggas were saying when I was spinning, I, they, it was lighting up. <laughs> and they didn't catch it though, so they like, damn, everybody like, fuck, I ain't grabbed the phone. So I'm like, right, I'm gonna do some more. Then they, my man Top runs in the back and gets picked like, yo, Kiss is out there windmilling. Now the whole studio comes in the living room like, nah, mm -hmm. you can't do it. Mm -hmm. I don't think you still got it. You can't win. Me. All right, everybody just hold their phone because this is going to go viral. And Did I it? Busted out. Yeah, busted out. That shit went viral. We put the Shaka Khan music with it. Made it feel like a real scene from Breaking. Oh, uh, yeah. Beat Street and shit. And that shit went shit. viral. Yeah, so, you know, I, could, I still got it. I'm going to do another one where I display some more elements, maybe. The head spin to the back spin to the windmill back to yeah, the I didn't believe it, man. You I was like, that's fucking kiss. Because you was going so fast. And I'm like, yo, you know the meme. A memes. lot of people didn't believe it. But next time, I'm going to do it all the way. I'm going to make the camera from, listen, don't miss this and do the whole thing. I'm going to do another one real soon. That's going to be, I'm going to retire it after that. I already called out Crazy Legs and Chris Brown and uh, all of the come top out, of the line dancers. Can't see yeah. me I, out I, I never This is going to be Brown my last that. one. <laughs> out real in these streets, man. That should that would be actually pretty good, man. A little dance off I got a lot of props shit. off that. A lot of people like, yo, the elements of hip hop, I appreciate you for being able to do that. I'm like, oh, you know, the purists. Purists yeah. will jump out and, and, no and really, yes, thank you, sir. No doubt. Before you go, I want I want I want to salute you, man, on on the on the shops, man, the juice shops. Uh, when, when you gonna bring one to Queens, man? You gonna call um, them super slow? We're uh, working on it. Yeah, nah, nah. I'm franchise real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna definitely bring one to Queens. I'm, we try and bring one all the way down. Down the East Coast and keep them going. You know what I mean. So, real soon, a juice is for life of being Queens in every borough. Now, do you, did you put this together? Because when I go to like Queens or, or Harlem, it's not really too many uh, shops where you can eat healthy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why when you go, when you leave, mm -hmm. especially 24 hours, Definitely. you know what I'm saying? You can you you gonna eat something that's you gonna crazy. Eat something crazy. Yeah. Um. Nah. We got hit. We got put onto it by our man Nah. And we just trying to um, educate and bring health awareness to the hoods. Like you said, late at night is nothing but some, you're going to eat heavy carbs or you're going to eat something bad for you. Or anytime they knock something down in the hood, the first thing they put up is a fast food or a liquor store. Yeah. So we just try to bring some balance and put juice bars in our hoods where, where they, where's the least knowledge of health you know what i mean right. how to eat right or how to juice or none of that they just try to manipulate us and throw some fast food right in the middle and keep it going so if we could spread the word to the youth to the elders to eat right and juice you know what i mean a little as possible and soon it'll spread like wildfire yeah definitely now man, thanks for coming out. I know thanks it's the Kiss Hour. Definitely, right I gotta now. come back sooner, closer to the date. I'll be back. That? Yeah, yeah. There. we have a yeah. we have a VIP day up here where we just, you know, what I mean, we go Ty, all the way. Ty, in. get a, get a shot of this, man. We need all this right now because I feel like we gotta go ahead and, and send this virally over back to him. Nah, we gonna come back. Jada, I, we told, on I told you, Jay I was coming. Yeah. He didn't think I was coming. Yeah, I'm just was lining EP up. Too. <laughs> I was just lining everything up, but. Closer to the album, I'm definitely going to come back. For all the people that do want to hit you on the Instagram, on the Twitter, how can at they the get real at you? Kiss, um, at The Real Kiss on Instagram, at The Real Chris, at the real Kiss on Twitter, the same the same handle. And, and Kiss be hitting you with those quotes, too. You wake up in the morning and feel yeah, like... Yeah, I hit you with something. <laughs> I hit you with something in the morning, you know what I mean? A good, uh, something to get your day started. That's you be following me, my yeah. name. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, that's what it is, man. The big homie Jada Kiss, man. Make sure y'all get that album again. No 11 doubt. 20. 11 20, November 20th. Top 5 Dead or Alive in stores is going up for pre order November 6th. Let's get it.